Inflation dropped to a three-year low of 2.2% in September. Why am I boring you with this particular choice piece of information? Because whatever the inflation rate is in September, uh, that's how much many state benefits will rise next year. Lee Healy is a benefits expert. He runs the website Income Max. Welcome to your money. Just give us a snapshot here. What sort of benefits are tied to the September inflation rate? Well, it's most benefits, so it will be benefits like income support and uh, employment and support allowance, um, disability living allowance, housing benefit. So all of those kind of, um, you know, lots of benefits that are, are accessed by people on low incomes. So they will go up by 2.2%, which isn't really an awful lot of money. It's not. And obviously the worry is that inflation will start to rise over the next, you know, the next year or so with things like energy bills and food prices. And that's, again, going to put a real squeeze on people on low incomes budget. Well, quite. We find that people who are the poorest in society are clobbered most by rising prices. Benefits going up 2%. Energy bills going up by an average of 9% for many poorer people, actually more than that. Absolutely. And of course, you've got another, uh, you know, issues around things like energy bill arrears, for example. There's millions of households currently repaying energy arrears. So not only have you got your arrears to contend with, you've got your, your standard energy bill uh, rises as well. Now, pensions, slightly different rules for pensions because there is what the government calls this triple lock. They will go up by either CPI inflation rate or by average earnings or by 2.5%, whatever is highest. And the magic number is 2.5%, which again is not very much. It's about, what, 38p a day. Exactly. So, you know, pensioners are always under the cosh. That's why it's really important for pensioners to look at things like pension credit, housing benefit and council tax benefit as well, just to see if there's any sort of extra uh, money that can be found. Because pensioners are notoriously bad at claiming uh, benefits and welfare that they're entitled to. They absolutely are. So, you know, if you're not sure, talk to Age Concern or Citizens Advice or an independent advice service that can help. OK, let's move on to another story I want to uh, ask you about that's been around uh, this week, and that is a report that thousands of people with disabilities who are on benefits may lose out when the universal credit is introduced. What's all that about? OK, so universal credit is coming in in October 2013 next year. There'll be some pilot areas in April, but it's basically a, a complete overhaul of the, uh, the welfare system, it's going to kind of absorb income support, housing benefit, tax credits. So um, the worry um, and the report that's come out this week is for disabled people and disabled children, because basically the, uh, the, the amount of help available within universal credit won't match what's currently there in the current system. So um, cur if, if you're a, a claimant who's accessing that kind of help at the moment, you'll be transitionally protected. But then, of course, in the future, disabled customers, severely disabled customers, really disabled children won't be afforded the same level of support through universal credit. So not an immediate drop in income, but it will come at some point. Absolutely. You, you cannot get away from the fact that eventually uh, severely disabled people and children uh, will be affected by Anything those they changes. Anything can do about it? Uh, just keep your eyes on the universal credit changes and have your say if you can. Talk to people about this because it's our welfare system and uh, it's important everyone's involved. Okay. Lee Healy from Income Max, thank you very much.